be actually sharing with you, I just hit Trailblaze level 50 today. Uh, I did a couple of runs already in terms of um, my Trailblaze level uh, so far. Uh, so I, I can see like what is the efficiency at level 50 and can recommend you better in terms of point you in the right direction as well. I like to always see what happens at the end in terms of the next bracket so that I'm also able to figure out in terms of efficiency ratios in terms of these recommendation videos. So I think we are going to phase it out in a, a few priorities. The first priority that I actually uh, recommend most people focus on is getting your characters up to level 60 in terms of like getting enough character exp getting these ascension materials for your main four characters that you are that you have some of us might have built up a little bit in terms of the remaining eight if we focus on but a lot of it in terms of the first priority will be building up four characters first uh, to get to that that, that mark as well uh, by now you probably have settled in a little bit to your main four that you are very comfortable with maybe a, a swapping occasionally out for five or six so do as much as you feel like you need in terms of this first priority focus on getting your main characters up and what do i mean like by main characters up i do mean like the main levels you want to focus on light cone getting them up to like level 60 as well for your characters that you play with uh, in terms of traces as well you want to try to get unlock as many as you can in terms of your characters um, and, and th those i will focus on like the main four characters that you're playing five if you wanted to but it of course costs a little bit more energy it's going to take quite a while but i think uh while you're doing that maybe you can switch between priority number two which is i think a lot of people are going to be excited for this one it's what everyone has been waiting for and it's really like these gold tier relics here i don't really like this screen so let's go ahead and go into a nicer uh, screen animation as well so at the same time at Trailblaze level 40, you have this crafting machine that also unlocks. I've already done like crafting guides in terms of which one you want to select. Uh, I, I'll link it up in the video card above or you can search the channel in terms of my recommendations for what is the more efficient sets to farm. But for this video, I'm just going to tell you broadly that you want to be starting to farm like these domains uh, in throughout 40 to 50. And that's going to be like where the bulk of your time is going to be because you need a lot of, uh, what well, you want a lot of these like five star gear uh, to level up a lot of your gear that you had previously only at like per and stuff like that they give a lot more main stat as well uh, you can farm don't bother about like farming min max all the stats you see a lot of people posting all the very nice gear and stuff don't worry about that first just find the right main stat complete your sets get your characters as much as you can and uh, try not to like keep re-rolling your if you get a nice decent one uh, for example if you go into the like, inventory here let's say i find a very nice let's say i have this like glove right here and maybe i oh it rolled a little bit too much so i'm just gonna take this and i'm gonna just dump it in another one that i have over here and hopefully roll uh, don't do this first uh, it's going to waste a lot of wastage in terms of exp you don't want to keep rolling it around because you could also the opportunity cost is that you could have used this for exp as well like one of the gloves uh, to level up your characters faster so i would say like get your main four characters as high as you can in terms of investment and try to level your your relics up evenly like don't push up like you see me here i, I actually push this up to like 15 but what you want to actually do like efficiently is like all level 3, all level 6, uh, in terms of like the right one, like if you are focusing mainly on attack, go for like the gloves and the main the main stat that gives attack percentage and stuff like that. If you are more like defensive unit like Natasha, you want to like level up the, the ones that matter. So go in that order in terms of uh, leveling, it gets more and more expensive as you push on to the higher levels. So we can just see here, for example, like level 10 to level 11 causes 6,000 EXP, which is about 6 purple gear, a bit more than 6 purple gear. But for example, a level 0 one only causes like uh, one blue gear to get to the next level. So I think it's, it's much better if you focus on getting them up like all to plus 6, all to plus 9 and slowly progress from there. Uh, so there are some exceptions that I will advise you otherwise would be like your crit rate main stat or maybe that could be quite important. I think speed is another alternative as well. So like speed, crit rate, I think these are really, really nice to get the additive uh, bonus, especially in characters that really need the additional amounts. But don't forget you're spending quite a lot of resources pushing it up all the way as well. Okay, and that's for priority number two. And in terms of priority number three, it's like going back to priority number one in a sense where you're touching on building characters, but you're going to build your next four characters as well. Because if for some of you, um, when you just hit Trailblaze level 40, perhaps you are just touching on memory stage 11. This is when the first time you actually split into two teams in terms of the requirements as well. I've done on my channel like free to play teams that you can just copy and just follow to clear this as well. I use all free to play teams already and managed to clear the whole memory. Uh, and I just turned like, 
uh, Trailblaze uh, level 50 here. So it's definitely doable between like 40 and 50. So go ahead and check on the channel if you want like more information about that as well. So here is where like, for example, let's say I was running this as my main team. I'll actually start investing in my other four star, uh, other four characters already in terms of like bringing them up to 60 as well. Uh, for example, you can just, I'm just going to click the next random four. Like this will be like, for example, like you need to invest in another four characters so that you can actually tackle um, the, the memory already in terms of stage 11 and beyond. Why do I say that is you actually get quite a lot of rewards in terms of clearing this at the later stages. So like from 11 all the way to 15, this is basically like free energy for us uh, to level up our characters as well. So by building characters, you get basically refunded, so to speak, in terms of the, the resources that you get if you can clear these stages. And the, I, the idea here is in terms of this priority number three, once you finish up your, your last eight characters, you want to go on into like the memory of chaos. For me, I'm playing with like free to play units. So it's very difficult to address uh, this uh, as of now. But if you are clearing, for example, with like a one five star, maybe you have like a couple of five stars that you want to uh, throw into the team. I'm sure a lot of you can be pushing through uh, like level, uh, like maybe Trailblaze 47, 48. You can probably clear up until here. I've seen a lot of people already clear up to like four or five with many, uh, if you have multiple five star characters as well. So I think it's definitely good. You get a lot of these like recurring rewards from the memory of chaos as well in terms of the these resources that reset. So it's basically like added bonus for you to build up eight characters. So don't just stick on four. Try to finish up your round up your eight really nicely so you can enter here. You don't have to aim for three stars. Just aim as much as you can. So I think those are like my the the tr the main priorities that I'll be focusing on. And of course I would think like uh I would say priority number four, but really it can be done in any order in terms of three, four, two, three, and four which will be will be definitely the simulated universe spend some time in here in terms of uh, now you've probably already cleared four five and six when you were previously a uh, level cap at 50 in terms of your characters i've already done guides in terms of how to clear uh, three and four as well where uh, in in terms of the difficulty number two if you guys want to clear it free to play as well you will be able to get this additional exp to level up faster uh, free drops free premium currency as well and it's the first time we can actually farm this in five stars these are pretty general uh, generally good sets as well uh, you might want to spend some time a little bit of time i wouldn't say it takes more than the relics because that is probably where you don't have enough like five star gear right now uh, as a lot of you who have been following the channel already know that i recommended to spend a lot of time in terms of this like uh world six previously so those are that's my recommendation a uh, good time good enough time to, like spend getting ability tree up as well as far as you can go just more bonuses as well so this is definitely something i'll be focusing on as like the fourth priority in a sense in terms of the account uh, overall account progression i'm not going to open up my quest book here i'm going to just talk about it pretty briefly by the time you hit 40 to 50 you're probably done with most of the main quest line already so uh, as of 1.0 of course waiting for like the new banners so go ahead and just explore any other chest that you can find uh, priority of the five really will be thus like min maxing any of the world uh, resources as well because you want to get to the stage quicker means you have to go around to every single map uh, for example making sure that you find all these chests uh, some of these warp trotters around the map uh, to get a little bit more exp to progress faster as well and that will be like priority number five it's not really it's how to use energy i would say it's like where i would recommend you spend your effort in this priority number five and last but not least i think uh, the next part i'll have is probably at this point of time you will be around like trailblaze level uh, 47 i would say where you're pretty comfortable and you're waiting for what's next as well in terms of like what are the rewards next so here's where i want to like share with you a few of the insights i have in terms of what maybe not to farm because it's maybe more efficient uh, to farm going into the second part over here and right here and now i'm just going to give you put up on the screen in terms of the the ratio of this uh the character exp i'm going to put up on the left and right here like uh before level 50 and the level 50 rewards as you can see for character exp is not a huge penalty in terms of the percentage loss and also for credits uh, a lot of you will already know you can go in and see it was like, i think 20k before per run and now it's like 24k so not a drastic uh, uh loss ratio so these are all fine especially if you want to like prep for your next level up like from 60 to 70 a good time if you already have nice uh, full sets in terms of your your gold tier relics don't spend too much time on that try to like prepare in advance for the next phase so that the moment you hit the harder difficulty you can run the harder relic domains as well i'll talk about the harder relic domains and the benefit of that in a little bit but uh so these are the ratio of these ones and in terms of character essential materials some of you might be wondering like 
Uh, currently, you're getting 3 at Trailblazer level 40 to 50, but when you go up to uh, Trailblazer level 50, the rewards become 4. So it's not a, as a drastic increase, like for example, 21 to 30 was like a 50% jump, 2 to 3. Now it's only like a 33% jump, which is very similar to what we are seeing also in the EXP as well as credits. So I would say if you wanted to farm this early on and you don't mind that 33% penalty, I think it's actually pretty decent, especially since uh, you can spend the resource later to hit the ground running in terms of the relics. Now I'm just going to go real quickly to any one of these domains, I'll just click the first one. Uh, in no particular order, I'm not saying like one is better than the other or anything. But basically in Trailblaze, uh, once you hit uh, th 40, to, uh, th 40 to 50, you will unlock gold relics for the first time. But the reason why I say you want, don't want to like spend all your effort and ignore your remaining 8 or like pre-farm and stuff like that. Because in level 4 is the first time we can actually get multiple 5 star relics here. So. There is a chance, I, I did two runs only, it's not like a huge sample size, I still need to test more. I will upload like statistics to the website uh, hsrguide.com, you guys can check it out in terms of like more details. I think that it's pretty useful to note that at Trailblaze level 50 onwards, you actually have a chance of getting two per drop. Thank you so much for watching, and do like and subscribe for more of such future content as well, and see you in the next video.